Hello, so today we're going to look at what wiring you guys need to do on your vehicle if you get a remapped IS300 ECU. This one's applicable to the European models. Uh, if you want one for American models, then guys, please let me know down below. But let's get into it. Right, as discussed, this is going to be what you guys need to do if you've got a IS300 ECU remap for a manual application. So this assumes that you've put all the manual gearbox in, you've had the ECU remap, you've got it back to your vehicle, and these are the next steps that you are going to take in terms of wiring that is required to make it all work correctly. Right, so what I'm going to start with first of all is the reverse switch, okay? So because you put a manual in, you need to connect the reverse switch, okay? And that is relatively straightforward. So... On your gearbox harness, you've got four connectors, okay? Those will be unplugged now because the auto gearbox is gone. So what you're looking for is this plug, all right? This is the selector plug, okay? You're only looking for two wires and you're looking for the 12 volts that comes into here and then you're looking for the wire that does the reverse. So you're gonna take those two wires, you're gonna cut them and then you're gonna join them to your reverse switch, okay? Whichever, however format that takes, whether or not you just get another plug with a pigtail on and join it on, uh, obviously it's gonna be different for every single gearbox, so I can't go into that sort of detail. But if we take a look at our diagram down here, you'll see that the 12 volt that comes in to the selector is going to be pin three, and it's going to be a red with a blue wire, okay? So if you have a look here, when you're looking at it like this, there's number one, so it's gonna be one, two, three, so it's gonna be smack bang in the middle of that row of five, all right? That's gonna be red, blue, that's gonna be your 12 volts. Now, Toyota had a tendency sometimes to change colors, so don't be alarmed if it's a different color. The locations always stay the same, so it's this middle one over here. That's your 12 volts. That's gonna supply 12 volts for your reverse switch. Next up, we're looking for reverse. So you can see there we've got park, reverse, neutral, drive, uh, through, uh, sorry, yeah, three and L, okay? Now then, we're looking for reverse. That says it's gonna be pin number two. So if there's number one, there's number two, so they're right next to each other. So you've got three is 12 volts, two is reverse. You're gonna take those two wires, you're gonna cut them out, and then you're gonna take them to your reverse switch, okay? So that is then gonna maintain your reverse. Right, okay. Now, you've disconnected your gearbox, but now we still need to make sure that the gear positions are not going to the ECU. Now, the rest of them are a problem, but reverse does become a problem, okay? Now, what's super important is if you look at reverse, it comes in to that plug over there. Now, this plug over here, this junction connector, that is actually the white one over there, okay? So, what you're going to find is it comes in on the top and then it comes out again to go to the ECU, okay? So there are a few ways to find out which is which, but basically we wanna remove that wire over there, okay? So that's the wire that's coming out of the junction, out of this white plug over here and going into the ECU. So what you're gonna find is when you come to reverse, and I'm pretty sure it's the two middle ones over here, you've got two red with the black wires. Okay, now what you can do is you can follow those red with the black wires back. Now one of them is basically gonna come along there, it's gonna loop around, and then it's gonna come back to go to the ECU. You need to find the one that loops around and comes back to the ECU. That's the one that you want to get rid of. The other one goes into the harness and goes down to this selector plug over here, okay? Now then, if you plug this in, to its actual holder. This is a junction connector, okay? What that means is these two are connected together, these two are connected together, these two are connected together, and these two, these two, these two, okay? So, if you use a multimeter and trying to find which wire goes to here and which wire goes to the ECU, unplug this, because technically what you're gonna do, if this is plugged in, you're gonna be joining those two red blacks together, okay? So that's not gonna work. Unplug it then you should be able to tell which one of the two goes directly to the shifter plug and which one of them goes to the ECU. Once you find the one that goes to the ECU, just chop it. Ideally, what you can do is at the back here, you've got a secondary lock. You can just pop that open, turn the plug over, and you'll see that there is actually little locks that you use a tiny screwdriver to just literally move out the way, and then you can actually pull that wire out. This is a relatively easy plug to do that on. So if you've got a tiny little screwdriver, I would advise doing that and rather just pull it out there and then either just tuck it down out of the way there and so on. 
Okay, so that's your reverse switch. So that is again, really, really straightforward. Right, now then, as I've discussed on previous videos in terms of the neutral park switch, the neutral park switch has nothing to do with the ECU, okay? Basically, there's your ignition barrel. You turn the key to the start position. It goes down through a seven and a half amp starter fuse. It comes into the EA1, which is this gray plug over here. Now then, what you notice here is there's two paths for the wire to take. Number one is either through the neutral start switch, which is basically these two big terminals over here. So you can see it says nine and six. And if you look there, there's nine and there's six. Now, if you look closely, it says manual transmission. And basically what it does is just a little loop. Okay, so what are you guys gonna do on your one? Right, now if you look here, it says pin two and it says pin six. So if we come over to our gray plug, we've got one and two, three, four, five and six. So what you'll notice is two and six are directly on top of each other there. And they'll also be, one will be black with a white, that should be pin two, the top one over there. And one is gonna be solid black, that should be pin six, which is that one over there. Now all you're gonna do on the engine harness side, so literally you can take this plug out and you just to get more access to it. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna take that black and white wire and that black wire, go like about two inches or whatever along. You're gonna cut each of them and then you're gonna crimp or solder or whatever, join them together, okay? That then resolves your park neutral switch, okay? You're just recreating this little loop. So basically two and six are just joined together, okay? The acute among you might have noticed when you do play with an IS200 manual, all you'll see is that pin two and six just have a loop wire. It goes quite far in so you can't see it normally, but if you did actually pull it apart, you'll see two and six are just looped together, all right? So that takes care of your neutral park switch, all right? So that means the car will crank when you turn the key to the start position, because all it's doing then is going through there, through the seven and a half amp starter fuse. You've bypassed that whole neutral park switch now there. It's gonna go straight down there and into the starter relay, right? So that is now sorted. So now the car will crank over, and if you put the gearbox into reverse, the reverse lights will come on, okay? You won't have the little R on your dash, because that is transmitted via MPX from the ECU and we've removed the reverse signal from the ECU. We need to remove it because the gearbox needs only one signal in terms of indication of gear position and that is number two, okay? So, moving on to that, how are we gonna give two power, okay? So coming back to this diagram over here, you can see we've got two comes out, it's a, uh, oh, sorry there, L is actually two, so <laughs> is yellow with a green, it goes into this junction connector, and lo and behold, it's this exact same junction connector over here, okay? Now then, if you take a look over here, you'll see the red with the blue wire that supplies power to there, also goes to the junction connector. Again, this one over here. So. When you're looking at this yellow plug, obviously you guys are going to have, in these two middle wires here, you're gonna have two yellow with the greens, okay? And it's the exact same principle. So what it's doing is it's going in there, into the junction. It's then supplying power to the ECU to tell it it's in two. It's then also supplying power into the vehicle as part of your transmission control switch. So remember when you went down to L, it's actually a sideways movement on the shifter. That's exactly what that is. So all we wanna do now is we wanna tell the ECU that it's in two, okay? Now normally I'd say go to the ECU, get the wire, cut it, a with that, no, much simpler than that. If you look at this white plug, you're gonna see in the two middle sections there at the bottom, you've got your yellow with your green. Now if you look to the left of that, you've got two wires which are red with a blue. Now one of those wires is the one, it's this one over here, supplying the selector switch with 12 volts and the other one goes to the alternator, okay? All you're gonna to have to do is take one of those yellow with the green wires, one of those red with the blue wires, just strip a little section about here, like further back if you will, and then you're just gonna twist them together and either put some heat shrink over. Again, if you can remove the pins happily enough, you can just sort of take those two out. Strip a little bit, twist them together, either crimp them or solder them, or whatever you prefer. Obviously I would go with crimping, but uh, whatever you have available, and then put a bit of heat shrink over there or some tape around it over there and put that plug back in again. That's literally all that you guys need to do, okay? That will then tell the ECU that it's in two, which is what is required. Your reverse switch is connected there, so that will work, and we've also removed the reverse signal from the ECU. And number three, by bridging two and six, we've now bypassed the start neutral switch, so the vehicle's gonna crank over the second you turn the key. 
okay? So, hopefully that is really simple and you guys can get through it easily. Um, I'm making the video because obviously we've done quite a few now and guys keep asking exactly what I need to do and I thought what I'll do is I'll do a video that I can send you guys that'll actually show you on your car what you're doing, okay? So, three steps, reverse, park neutral, two. That's all that you have to do. The rest of it, obviously, if you guys want to go along the route of it, you can obviously strip all the gearbox wires out of your harness and deepen the ECU if you've got the special tools and so on and so forth. But most of you guys aren't going to do that, so you can just tuck the auto gearbox out the way, cut those two wires, take them to a reverse switch, and do the other two jobs there and there. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a shout. I'll try and do a video on whatever you need to. Again, so far, this is only for the European models. If you guys in America or whatever do want me to do one for the IS200, for the IS300 models in the USA, remember that would only be 02 to 05, not the 98 to 01. Those can't be remapped, so that's not a problem. We don't need to know about that. But yeah, if you guys want me to do that, please let me know. I'll make a video on that one and I'll get the diagrams for the US model one so you can see exactly what's going on as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully it's been helpful and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.